<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Live. It's another Frilici Friday. Everybody is having a great day today. Uh, action keeps going like in and out. So hopefully um, everybody, what is this? There's something new. It says, hi, Philomena and Jamie. It says, bring them. I don't know what. Oh, maybe there's a way for you guys to like, I could like push the button and whoever's watching Facebook is always changing, right? So there's some new future. Hey, Nancy. Oh my gosh. We'll have to, we'll have to check that out sometime, huh? But yeah, maybe that's what that means. Although, you know, <laughs> I would want to make sure that you were all prepared for that if I pushed the button and it like flipped around so you could be on camera too. I'm thinking that's what it means. Hey, Amy Jo. Hello, hello. So welcome everybody. If you are brand new, never join me on Facebook Live. Hey, Lori. Um, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad everybody can be here. Um, it's so fun. I know this whole sheltering in place, we're all like, oh, God, when is it going to end, right? Um, but we're just plugging along, and that's okay. We're st I've still been like crafting and creating like crazy. I hope you guys have been too. So with that being said, like I said, every Friday right here, we go live on this gathering stamp studio facebook group we uh feature a product of the week all week long on our facebook group and then we actually make two projects um, on this facebook live with our product of the week which this week is the super duper cute the bonanza buddies so it's the stamp set and then the dies the what are they called the bonanza dies love this stamp set and dies this is a set <clears throat> i'm gonna have a frog in my throat today this was one of those like suites of products that when I first went through the new spring mini catalog, um, oh, how funny it says Sharon wants to be in your video. Hey, Sherilyn. I don't know. There's all this weird stuff popping up. It's like a little bit distracting, actually. <laughs> Sorry. You know how easily distracted I get, too. So, um, yeah, already. Yeah, so this was a suite of products that I really fell in love with from, like, the second that I saw it in the Spring Mini Catalog. And I didn't use it right away. And then all of a sudden, it felt like it was on back order. Like, we couldn't get the dyes, I think it was. It was the whole coronavirus thing, too. Um, yeah, you just got it in your last order. And thank you for sharing, Susie. So anyway, it was one of these that like I kept waiting to be available again. And it just was, um, it kind of like now it is finally available and then it's going to retire. So I never got the chance to play with it the way that I wanted to. So I'm super excited that finally today we get to play with it kind of at the very last minute. So like I said, this bundle is still available as far as I know. So if you love it, order it as soon as you can. You get the bundle price, obviously you get your 10% discount um, and then you don't, um, you know, you don't miss out on getting it, right? So with that also being said, let me, I gotta check my notes here because I was changing things up. Well, not really. Um, you guys, thank you. You're all saying good morning and sharing. I love that. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna demonstrate the two projects in just a little bit. I will upload all of the details. So I'll have pictures, hey Kay, I'll have pictures of the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little bit. There will be item codes and dimensions, colors, everything that you need to know to recreate the cards. And if you want to order anything, um, I give you all the product and item codes there too. So I know, Anna, you're saying you were bummed it was gonna be retiring also. Yeah, I know, it's just in um, North Carolina. Kay, you might not know Chile. We're we are like um, actually neighbors. We went on a walk last night and some of like the flowering trees, people had like um, put like big sheets over them because it was supposed to get down below freezing last night. So they're like trying to protect their flowering trees because they're so pretty. Like, oh, you wouldn't want them to die right now, right? Or, you know, the blooms anyway. So yeah. So, okay. So yeah, back to, I will upload everything. This connection, I um, hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. I don't know what the, there's nothing I can do about it. It's not even windy. Usually like it's kind of sunny and deceivingly beautiful <laughs> based on the um, temperature anyway outside. So, um, well, let's see. Oh, the other thing too, if you put in an online order of at least $30, you will get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate in just a little while too. Just make sure to use the host code that I will give you in just a little bit. So um, we kind of get those details out of the way. Let's see. Wait. So we have, um, all of a sudden I was like, I want to play online bingo with this whole, again, the whole sheltering in place has really kind of changed how I am doing things. I cannot have my live classes. Um, so I'm kind of struggling with, um, hey, Sue, how are you doing? Um, you know, trying to keep business up and going. And I all of a sudden I was like, you know what? Let's play online bingo. And you know what we're going to do? Because um, earlier this week, 
as a demonstrator, I was able to pre-order some new catalog products. So I'm like, you know what? This is what we're doing. We're gonna play online bingo. Here are the details, because it's a super quick turnaround time. So you cannot like waffle or waver. If you wanna do it, you gotta sign up right away. So this happens on Wednesday, May 27th. So here in Michigan, we're still sheltering in place at least until the 28th, the governor just told us. So kind of a bummer about that. I was actually hoping maybe I could have my scrapbook class at the end of the month, but that's not gonna be happening. So anyway, we're gonna play online bingo instead. May 27th at 7 p.m., We I set up a separate Facebook group where we can play. Um, so as long as you can get on Facebook, you can play online bingo, right? But we are gonna, um, let's see, we're gonna use a bunch of, well, I don't know if we're going to use new catalog product. We might use some of it on our make and takes. I'm still kind of trying to decide what we're going to do. Uh, but I know for sure in the swag bag, so you get like $25 worth of product in the swag bag that I send out to you, um, new catalog product. I'm going to pre-order as much as I can. I'll probably things um, because we're limited like on designer series paper I can't order like a pack for everybody but I can give you a sample of it so I think that's what we're gonna do so um, but I need at least six to eight players to sign up for bingo because part of your fee to play bingo is so that I can get prizes and if I don't have enough people playing then we can get enough good prizes right so um, <clears throat> oh, fee is $49 but that includes $8 priority mail shipping to get your swag bag and your make and takes and your bingo boards mailed out to you. So again, with the sheltering in place thing we have going on, even if you're local, you can still play online bingo and then it's actually only $41 because you don't have to pay that. I can put it out on my porch and you can pick it up and take it home and you'll have it all ready to go right there. So I'm encouraging people, even local, since we can't video right now, why not come hang out with me online on Facebook Live and play bingo, okay? So again, Wednesday, May 27th, $49 if you need it shipped to you, $41 if you can pick it up from my porch. Um, you get a new, brand new annual catalog product in your suit. Play bingo um, for awesome new catalog prizes, but we need RSVP and payment, payment by next Wednesday, which is May 13th. So that's like, like super quick. I, all of a sudden earlier this thing, you know, like, oh my gosh, it's going to be next Wednesday, guys, right? So, um, anyway, yeah, loads of fun. Bingo. Thank you, Philomena. I know you always are such a good participator. So if anybody needs, so I've been emailing and posting on our Facebook group, but I'm happy to send you the PayPal link. Um, because quite honestly, I love it if you pay me um, as friends and family rather than the link in my emails even because PayPal always takes those icky fees out and that way I can keep the full $49 to help me cover all the costs. Um, or so, anyway, I can email you a PayPal invoice too also. So just let me know if you want me to do that. I'd love to get you signed up for online bingo, okay? Um, the other thing that I have decided, I'm like crossing my fingers that we are really gonna be able to do both of these things. Hey, Roseanne. Um, is our weekend retreat. I want to give you these dates so you can get them on your calendar. And like I said, cross our fingers. We'll actually, I'm hoping by then things will be, you know, somewhat back to normal, right? Is on October 23, 24, and 25. You, if you sign up and pay by September 21st, you get an extra free gift in your goodie bag. And final RSVPs are not due until October 1st. So we've got some time, but I want to make sure you get that on your calendar. So again, weekend retreat, October 23rd through the 25th. It's down in Lansing, so it's about an hour south of me here in Alma. Uh, but it's awesome. I, it is like one of my most favorite, favorite weekends. Um, so I'd love to have you come hang out with us and enjoy the, my most favorite weekend with, with us as well. So Sally, thank you for sharing. And hey, Debbie, hello, hello. Uh, so one day retreat is what we hold locally right here in Alma. That date is the 18th. Um, what are we, by October 16th, you get a free and final RSVPs are not due until October 30th. So your calendar. Again, one day retreat right here in Alma, 9 a.m. Road here at St. Mary's School. Um, I'm sorry, November 14th. Okay, so get those on your calendar. I'm going to be emailing about those later on, I think this month. Um, but if you want any more info, I'm happy to send you. Um, um, all right, we're going to scoot those out of the way. This, I, this, I've never had this happen before. We're like, it's like keeps like flashing at me. It's kind of like I said, driving me crazy. So I'm trying to just be really zoom and ignore it and I'm just hoping that it'll just like go full connection and stop flashing on and off and on and off like that so for a moment maybe maybe it's hearing me okay thank you Facebook <laughs> for making a good connection 
So, okay. Um, oh, I want to show you guys. So we have our new, this is the May Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And I printed it um, front and back so I wouldn't waste as much paper, but it's kind of like showing through because it's in color. So I will try, this is like the very last page. So I'll just try to kind of flip through here so you can see. And this month was a fun fold cards. So I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Maybe I'll show that again. Um, that's my card. Actually, I can show you guys that one. Um, or part of it, right? That's like a close-up of it. Anyway, we have, this is an awesome tutorial, 16 different projects with all fun folds in it. You can get this for free if you're in my downline, if you're an Inkspired Stamper, you can always get these PDF tutorials for free. If you're not in my downline, buy the starter kit and then you can always get them for free. Yes, all cutting out frequently. Yeah, Lori, I don't know what the problem is. Um, Sally, I emailed it to everybody that's currently in my downline. I already emailed it. So check your email. Um, you should have this PDF in there already, okay? Um, what else was I gonna say? If you're not in my downline, if you put in an online order of at least $50, anytime in May, you're gonna get the May Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial emailed to you. So yeah, and let me show you, this was my card. I don't know if I showed this last time or not, but I love, this is my fun fold and the beautiful Happy Mother's Day. And then, zoop, I love that fun fold. We did, I think it was um, last month or maybe two months ago in our um, team meeting. I know, Lori, love the fun fold. So check your email, Miss Lori. You have the PDF tutorial in there as well. And you are welcome, Sally. But yeah, so, and then isn't that so pretty, the happy Mother's Day. So yeah, hopefully everybody has a happy Mother's Day this weekend. Okay, um, what else do I wanna show you guys? Oh yeah, okay. So actually I've got them right over here. So I had two beautiful cards sent to me in the last week or so, and I have to share them with you guys. So this was a um, card that says hello with the cute, I love that little um, wheelbarrow and the flowers, right? And then that really pretty embossing folder. So this was from Judy, my friend Judy, who does scrapbook classes with me. And, um, she just says how much she misses classes and she's been experiencing um, but would love to get back to, uh, you know, normal life also. So anyway, thank you, Miss Judy. I really appreciate that beautiful card that you sent me. So thank you, thank you. And then I also have another card from one of my downline. This is from Diana Boone. It is a beautiful card, isn't it, Philomena? Really, really pretty too. And actually, this is just catching my eye. My class to go that I'm gonna show you guys in just a little bit, she used it as well. The beautiful friendship, that's the hydrangea and some of the spriggy. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so beautiful stamping. Love that polka dot tool ribbon. And then check out, um, she's got this so very happy to know you, which is an awesome sentiment, right? But then look at, this is a fun fold too, right? So you open that up and then you open that up there too. So isn't that cool? Yeah, and I have not done this type of fold before, so maybe we'll be seeing that sometime soon. So thank you, Diana, for that beautiful card as well. I appreciate that. Okay, I think we are ready. I'm gonna check my notes, but yeah, we are ready to do our first drawing for the new, the brand new Gilded Gems, okay? So you guys have maybe seen these a little bit because I've been possibly can. So I always say they kind of look like rhinestones, but they're really gold gems that are the similar like faceted style of our rhinestone. So your name is in here if you shared the Facebook Live video or if you're new to me and sign up to my email list. So we are going to shake these names around and do our drawing. And our winner is, let's see, let's see, Miss Tracy Horton. Congratulations, Tracy. I think you were out in Maine, if I remember correctly. So Tracy, I am not sure if I have your mailing address. So, oh, sorry, Sally, that comment came in a little bit too late. Maybe next time your name is in here though, I know, because I know you shared. Anyway, so Tracy, um, if you would send me your address and then I will get the Gilded Gems sent out to you. So congratulations. All right, let me dump those out. Let me get ready for the next drawing. Okay, so this week we are gonna give away, actually next Friday, and next Friday's Facebook Live, these are the clear faceted gems. So these are not really an oldie but a goodie, but they are sold out already. So these are the clear, um, Yep, clear faceted gems. And then there are also gold faceted gems and they have both sold out already. So I thought, okay, what a fun price to give away since you cannot order these any longer. And I have absolutely loved 
these beautiful, so they're super big, like sparkly. Well, they've got big, and then they've kind of got like small and medium sizes. Hey, Rosemarie, glad you could join us. So this is what we will give away on next week's Facebook Live if you share the video and sign up for my email list. As many shares as you do, your name goes in the drawing. That many. So yeah, and again, sold out already. So speaking of that, make sure you are ordering off of that retiring list anything that you think oh i would right make sure you get it ordered um so that you don't miss out on any of those retiring products okay so that the retiring products are still available until i think it's like june 3rd while supplies last so in some cases oops things have already sold out so no more supply so you can't get those okay so just don't miss out on what what you want right Okay, I'm gonna scoot those out of the way. So I have to give a, um, a congratulations to Frozen. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't know what, um, I usually have really good internet too, so uh, I can't say, I don't know what is going on today, but it, it's it's not flashing like low connection quite as many times, but it's it's not great either. So sorry guys, I I probably, I'm like dee, 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 like in the way I'm talking. I know on my workout videos that happens sometimes too and it's like, what is she saying? What am I supposed to be doing now? But you know, we I do the best I can, right? So, um, okay, yeah, so I was gonna give a quick congratulations to Miss Tracy Claire, one of my downline, one of my Inkspired Stampers, a part of our team who has all minimum, she just bought the starter kit in and she has already met her $300 quarterly minimum. So congratulations, Miss Tracy. I love to see that. So I think she took big advantage of the retiring list, if I remember correctly. Got a bunch of, probably a bunch of things on sale, right? So yeah, check that out too. Lots of retiring last chance products are on sale. For sale, um, you know, more sign up, but they say, you know, don't wait for that. If there's something you really want, order it um, and get it while you can. But yeah, I would keep an eye on that last chance product list because they're gonna, I'm sure they'll discount some things coming up soon too. So that could be good news also, right? Okay, so, all right, um, let me, what do I wanna show you guys next? Let me move this out of the way. Well, let's do our drawing for, this was for the Ornate Garden Ribbon Combo Pack. So anybody that put an online order in last week of at least $30, is going to get these two projects that I demonstrated on last Friday's Facebook Live. You can either get the completed cards or the make and takes. And once you put your online order in, I email you and say thank you very much. And I say, okay, do you want the completed cards or do you want the make and takes? So make and takes mean you need your own stamps and ink. Some people, like I feel like, um, I don't wanna take the fun away from you. So if you wanna do your own stamping and put your projects together, that is awesome. You let me know that you just want the make and takes. Or if you want the completed cards, I do that too. So again, with a $30 order, you get the two cards that I demonstrate um, on the previous week's Facebook Live. Plus your name went into the drawing to win that ornate garden ribbon combo pack, right? If you bumped your order up to $50, actually in May, you get the choice of, I already showed you, the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, or this month's embellishment, free embellishment with a $50 order, are our pearls, which are the classic, you can never have too many pearls, right? So you get to pick either the um, PDF tutorial or the pearls you get for free if you um, order at least $50. You, but you definitely get these cards, right? Because your order was over $30. And your name is right now in this little bucket, um, the trash bag, right? For um, So we are gonna do our drawing again for that ornate garden. Let's see, I got one name in my hand. Yes, the winner is Miss Erin Silverthorne. So congratulations, Erin. I will be sending out the, this is this is the Ornate Garden, Ornate Garden Ribbon Combo Pack. And it has, this is um, uh, Old Olive and Terracotta Tile are the ribbons. And these are beautiful. And this ribbon is new. So Erin, congratulations. You are getting ribbon that no one else can order for a little while now. So. Yay, good stuff for you. Okay, so on uh, next week's Facebook Live, if you put at least a $30 order in, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win. It's another sold out item. This is the Neutrals 6x6 Designer Series Paper Pack. So I'm gonna open this up so you can see kind of all of the colors. We'll get these kind of spread out. And I think this is that way, right? And um, four different patterns, two, that makes sense. So the 
I'm trying to kind of keep up on that sold out list. Um, but this one is definitely one that is sold out. So your name will go in the drawing. If you put in at least a $30 order using our host code, you could win the Neutrals Designer Series Paper Pack on next Friday's Facebook Live. Okay? Um, all right. I think we are good to go. I want to show you guys I've got. I'm super duper excited about my latest. I just kind of got everything uploaded, like finished yesterday afternoon. Got to show you guys this class to go so that you can as well. So we are, I keep looking like, yeah, we are good, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. So turn your heads away for a sec. I'm sorry, this silly thing keeps flashing in and out and in and out. I hope it's not driving you guys too crazy. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Facebook is just crazy away we're flying through the air we're gonna flip the camera down let's do this we're gonna fix this and this and that a little bit and let's see what do we have how did I do all right actually we're looking pretty good so okay this is the and I have to show you guys again so you can see Diana's card she featured the beautiful friendship so there's the hydrangea uh, maybe I can show you a little bit yeah actually you can see like the roses right there the little leaves um, and the, I call them spriggy flowers I don't know what they are but anyway beautiful so you can see how all the different colors and I warn you guys I used a bunch of different ink pad colors because you have to this it, all you need to do, you need stamps, ink, and paper. You really need very little else with that stamp set. So let me show you guys and tell you about this beautiful friendship class to go, okay? So again, gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set. These, even the images on here are not done justice. You have to put ink to these stamps and then you know how beautiful they are. Awesome sentiments too, right? So very happy to know you. I love our beautiful friendship. Birthdays are the best days. And a very big congratulations and best wishes to you. So awesome sentiments also, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you the cards and then I'll tell you about the different um, options that are available, okay? So these, and you guys know, right, when I do my class to go kits, we make four different projects and then you get to make two of each of them. So you end up with eight projects. I do all of the embossing and the die cutting. You have to do your own stamping with your own ink, okay? I know, you guys, this is one of my favorite stamp sets, and I have been dying to use it. Nancy, hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I see you've been making lots of masks, which is awesome. Um, okay, so yes, back to class to go. So I'm going to show you guys. You get to make, again, two of each of these, right? And you guys are all being so sweet in your congratulations. Okay, so we've got this one. A very big congratulations to you, and look at oh I love the stamping you guys I cannot get enough I mean you can just imagine all the pretty colors that you can use I love our beautiful friendship so again two of each of these cards you get to make birthdays are the best days right I love that one too and we kind of oh it's just gorgeous gorgeous and then I love this one also with the really soft pretty colors so very happy to know you right okay so again two of each of those cards is what you can make with, uh, for example, option number one includes the beautiful friendship stamp set, a full package of rhinestones, the whisper white crinkled seam binding ribbon, and the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put each of these cards together. You actually get the rhinestones for free with option number one, which is $46, okay? Option number two is if you already have the stamp set. So don't get option number two if you don't have the stamp set because then you won't be able to do your stamping, right? So it includes the rhinestones, the ribbon, and then all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, eight cards total, plus the PDF tutorial. Option number two is $26. Option number three is the PDF tutorial only. It's just the step-by-step -step how to make these cards. That is $15. It's also free for anyone in my downline. Any Inkspired stampers get any of my PDF tutorials for free anytime they want them. And then option number four is also for my Inkspired stampers, my downline. They can get the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards for cost. It's just $12 to get all the parts and pieces to make these cards. I give you everything that you need. You still have to do your stamping um, with your stamp set and your own ink, but everything else you get, all the ribbon, rhinestones, embossing, everything's die cut. It's all ready to go for you, okay? That option number four for my Inkspired stampers is always $12. So that's another great incentive if you're thinking about getting the starter kit you can get these to-go kits from me for $12 every single month 
okay? Um, let me show you ink pads too. And like I said, I did use quite a few ink pad colors on here. I will, I will warn you. Um, it was kind of, cause I didn't do a lot of other, we used the rhinestones and then some kind of white, that's about the only kind of crazy ribbon that I used. Um, yes, Sally, this beautiful friendship is in the annual catalog, in our current annual catalog. I'm not doing anything with new catalog product yet cause we're so limited on what we can order. I could only order one stamp set. So that wouldn't work for these. So yeah, and this is one I've been wanting to use for forever. So I'm super glad I'm kind of slipping it in um in this month but it is carrying over into our next annual catalog also so okay the other thing i will tell you is if you are a demonstrator i would love for you to get one of these to go kits and you can use them for your own classes as well okay i would love for people to do that use my ideas why not it takes lots of time to come up with these and put the tutorial together so why not use what i've already done and save yourself some work so okay you can see i've got a stack of ink pad colors we're going to kind of flip through them here we have Bermuda Bay, and I'm putting that one aside because I need that for my make and takes. We have Highland Heather, Pineapple Punch, Flirty Flamingo, Gorgeous Grape, Call Me Clover, Pool Party, Granny Apple Green, and Night of Navy. So it is a bunch of ink pads. The other thing that I am offering, these ink pads are always $7.50 plus tax and shipping. I am offering, if you need any of these ink pads, I will send you an additional PayPal link. So say if you need one ink pad, it's $7.50. It's just catalog cost, no tax or shipping. I'm not charging you that, okay? If you need all nine of the ink pads, whatever nine times $7.50 is, I'll send you a PayPal invoice for that, and you won't have to pay any tax or shipping, okay? And we'll put that with your to-go kit also because I know I kind of went crazy and I really don't normally do that, but there's no way to do this stamp set justice without using a bunch of different ink pad colors, okay? So um, let's see, what else do you guys need to know? I have my notes here. Um, how about RSVPs are due, um, is it two weeks from today? Friday, May 22nd, and um, we will ship no later than Friday, June 5th. I added a couple of extra days in there because with the way everything, um, with Stampin' Up!, the way they've changed things, and maybe UPS, I don't know, um, shipments are taking longer, which is kind of driving me crazy. Um, yeah, it is. It's driving me crazy, but I'm going to try not to complain about it. Anyway, so I added on a couple of extra days because I was actually a day late in shipping this month's class to go kits, and I really, really hate to do that. I love to, like, you know, be able to stand firm on my dates. So I added a couple more days. Hopefully it won't be until June 5th. Hopefully it'll be earlier in that week, but I had to pad it a little bit just to be safe. So, okay. All right. I think we are ready to do our stamping. So let's see. We're going to move this stuff out of the way, and I don't need any of these ink pad colors, so we're gonna scoot those up here. And my cards. You know what, let me check my notes though, real quick. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Okay, uh, actually here, let me find, oh, I should have had this out earlier too, host code, right? This is our host code. We have a new host code for May, the 2EHG34UD. So this is the host code you wanna use to order online and get all the free stuff from me, okay? All right, actually we need some grid paper. So is everybody doing okay? Guys keeping busy, staying positive, hopefully, as positive as we can. I think we all go through like the ups and downs of it all, right? But hopefully overall, everybody's doing okay and staying positive. Just play with your stamps and ink and all that fun stuff, right? It really does brighten your spirits, right? Like who wouldn't love to get this cute little card? How could your spirits not be brightened, right? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You bought yourself a Mother's Day gift. Yeah, good idea. Very good idea, Miss Sally. Doing fine. Awesome. I love to hear that, Lori. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so this is the first project that we are going to do today. I loved. So I think this is called Birthday Bonanza. Um, oh, hi, Barb. You know what? I forgot to, did I forget to mention? Tutorial only option, Barb, is um, $15. The PDF tutorials are always $15. Now I'm like, did I mention? So option number one is 46 for the class to go kit, the beautiful friendship class to go kit. Option number two is $26. The PDF tutorial only option number three is $15. And then option number four for my downline is $12 for the make and takes. So I maybe I missed some of that. Sorry if I did. So anyway, okay. But let me know if you have any other questions. Okay. Um, and Barb, I can email you um, a PayPal link if you're interested in that tutorial only option. I can send that to you and we can get you all set up. Okay. All right. 
Oh, yeah, who knows, right? You, maybe I didn't say it or maybe you missed it. It's hard to say. I don't, I talk kind of fast sometimes too. So, you know, when I'm excited about these things. All right, so we are going to get our things out here. Um, let's see. So these are all the parts and pieces I need. So I'm going to give you dimensions and then we are going to make this super duper cute card right now. Let's see. Sharon is saying my Stampin' Up! order of new stuff <laughs> is your Mother's Day gift to yourself. Well, why not? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh yeah. It's going to be so fun. Actually, I think because I never do this, you guys, but so you can pay um, to have your order expedited, like a two-day UPS shipping, because it's taking, I really shouldn't even complain about this, but it's kind of getting crazy, because it usually takes maybe like a week and a day after I put an order in to get it. Now it's honestly closer to two weeks, and I'm going bonkers. And in some cases, it's like holding me up and trying to get things shipped out to people. So um, because I wanted all my new catalog stuff, I expedited it and I paid the extra $20 shipping. So it's going to be here today. <laughs> so it's going to be a super fun weekend and fun Mother's Day weekend too with all of the new products. So um, maybe I'll be able to show you some things. I waver between whether I should show you guys new stuff yet or wait a little bit longer because you can't order it yet. So you could, just so you know, I'm totally off tangent here, but um, if you decide that you're seeing a bunch of new annual catalog product and you're like, you just can't wait, if you buy the starter kit, you can get the new catalog product in your starter kit. So if you are interested in that at all, um, there is a PDF that um, Stampin' Up! put together basically of all of the items that um, you can get out of the new annual catalog because you can't get everything right now. Um, it's a select number of products and then even within that you are very limited to how many not that you'd buy more than one stamp set I do sometimes for prizes and things um, but anyway it's limited how many of each thing that you can even order but if you are interested I can give you more information on what you can order in your um, starter kit too so you can get new stuff because I know other demonstrators online are already sharing new stuff or will be right because they just were able to get their um, orders as well. So anyway, okay, let me know if you have any questions on that. You definitely can get the starter kit and get new stuff right now if you want. So, okay, yes. So you got <laughs> Sharon, party at Amy's. I know, I wish. Maybe we could do it in the backyard, Sharon, and we could like everybody bring a table and put it six feet away from the next person. <laughs> so hey, Barb, you're sewing while you, oh, Nancy, that is insane. 500 masks. Good for you. That is awesome. And I think, um, Nancy, I want to try to pick up some masks. We'll talk about that later, but I'm hoping to get over to your porch this weekend and maybe pick up those masks. So we'll talk later about that instead of on the Facebook Live. Um, okay, so we have, this is Bermuda Bay. We've got a full sheet of cardstock, right? Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches or right there. And then along the uh, 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches because we are working with a tall card here today. <laughs> and a winter coat. Yeah, your table in a winter coat. I know, Sharon. What's up with that, huh? Okay, then we have, this is a piece of the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. This paper is so stinking cute. <laughs> and yes, they are sending one catalog out to demonstrators. I keep checking my mailbox every single day, Sally, because I've seen other demonstrators post that they've already gotten their catalog. I don't know. Maybe it's just the U.S. Postal Service. You know, they're overloaded, right, because everyone's shopping online. Um, so yeah, things are taking a little while. But yeah, go check your mailbox. Maybe it's there now. Okay, so Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper, super duper cute paper. It's not sold out yet. If you want to order it as soon as you can. This one measures five inches by three and three quarter inches. And then actually another um, exact same size, Whisper White, five inches by three and three quarter inches that's going to go on the inside of our card. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, have a good time at the vet, Nikki, and we will uh, talk with you later. Okay. Um, next, we also have this piece of designer series paper that kind of cuts right through there. Um, this one measures one and a half by three and three quarters. So that's going to go right on there. And then these are all just scraps of paper that we're going to use to do our stamping and the little party hat we're going to die cut out of that. So let's do our stamping and then we will do our die cutting and put this cute together okay all right so we are starting let me get my bearings here what do I want to do first let's do our lion okay so this is daffodil delight ink 
Okay. And actually this one is for, this one is for the, the tag. So we're gonna keep that. That's gonna be for that piece right there. Okay, I feel like I already have ink on my fingers. I have done that so many times lately and it's on my um, class to go kit cards and then I'm so frustrated that I'm like, oh, forget it. I'm just taking a picture of the card that has the ink splatter on it and hopefully you guys don't even notice. Okay, so Daffodil Delight, doesn't that look funny? But then when you add the rest of the detail in, Okay, we used terracotta tile ink for his mane and his tail. You guys will see this. You gotta keep track of this teeny weeny little tail here too. So there's his mane and his tail, and we're gonna cut those out. But first of all, we have to give him a face with our black memento ink, okay? And so we're gonna tap, 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 and actually I'm gonna scoot that over here. I pushed too hard and he had was like a smushy face. So I'm gonna try careful Try to be careful. Yeah, oh, look at how cute that is. So doesn't that just make it? Like now can't you see the little, the little guy? He's so cute, isn't he? And you guys, I tell you, I used between the two um, cards that we're gonna make, this stamp set, 22 different stamps in here, I used almost all of them. I'll show you in a sec. We didn't use the koala or his face or some of these bows or the two in the from, but everything else in that stamp set we used between this card and the other one. So you really get a good idea of how you can play with that stamp set. I was kind of determined to do that because I haven't gotten to play with it enough. Um, let's see, so we've got those pieces. We are gonna cut these out now. Yep, let's do that because we've got a little bit more stamping, but we'll do that afterwards. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we've got the die cutting machine. So we've got our magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad underneath, whoops, our paper. Actually, we'll do that in a sec. Let's do these first. So these are the Bonanza dies, okay? And these are all the, so you've got a couple of little banners. That's for the toucan. We're gonna use these two right now and we're gonna use that tag also. And there's a little koala and some other, I think that's like the little starburst. So we're gonna take that one out because we need that in a moment. And this is the little party hat. So we're gonna do those in just a sec. We need these two right now though, okay? So the lion's mane and tail go right there in his head and body. And we're gonna have to move our paper things are winging around on us. Let's see, I think that one looks good. Oh yeah, now this is gonna be futzy, huh? Okay, there we go. I think, I think we're good. All right, put our other clear pad on top. I already need new plates. I feel like I bought them not very long ago and these are really well loved already, but they still work even if they have lots of etching in them, right? Okay, let's just pop those little babies out. There we go. Okay, and let's do our other. So we're gonna scoot these over. Oh, that is off a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, he must have moved a tiny bit, but we'll work with that. It'll be all right. You probably won't even notice once we put it all together. But now to, to not lose that piece that I just flung on the on there again. Oh my. Okay. Um, let's see. What am I seeing? I'm missing some comments. Sorry guys, they kind of blipped right past me. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Okay, so we're, this is just actually, let me show you. This is another little piece of the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. You can kind of see a half of a koala there. This paper is so cute, you guys. If you don't have it, you need it. We made scrapbook pages with it not too long ago. I loved that paper. Okay, so here we go. And I love this tag too. I Man, I should have played with that more also. I didn't even quite realize there was a tag in these dies. I was so kind of transfixed by the little animals um, in the set that I didn't even realize there's this cool, look at, isn't that nice? And it even cuts the little hole out there for you to put your ribbon in. So the tag die, thank you for sharing, Tammy. Okay, so let's scoot these little babies out of the way. Okay, now we can do the rest of our stamping and put this card together. And Stormy's coming to say hi too. I think he thought he heard something, but there's nothing here. Okay, so we have our Bermuda Bay ink and we are gonna stamp happy birthday on the bottom of that one. And then we're also gonna grab our Whisper White. I've got 
So can I get that off of there? There's like a little bit of adhesive and it's right exactly where I always work. So if I had my little adhesive remover, I'd use that, but your finger works too, just keep rubbing there. Okay, now maybe things won't stick. And then we have our sentiment, and I'll tell you what it says right after I stamp it. I'm glad it's your birthday so I can tell you how wonderful you are. Ha, how cute, huh? Hey, Charlene. Oh, what's Tammy saying? You have to go back to work? I missed it, Tammy. I'll have to read that back later. What else am I looking for? Oh, the Daffodil Delight ink, because we have to do a couple of these little starburst thingies. I thought these were kind of cute. So, you know, do those there and there. Yeah, okay. So that is that. Now we are gonna build our little tag here. I'm gonna put these up here, because I know I need some of these colors. Again, I can't remember which ones even. Okay, let's make our little buddy here, okay? And actually, you know what I need to do is grab this little silicone craft sheet. Let's put everybody on here. You guys can still see there, okay. Let's do that. And my little tail. <laughs> this teeny tiny little piece, right there we go, okay. So on, we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of most of these things because we're gonna just build this little buddy right up, okay? So one on there, one on there. We're gonna use a little baby one because that's kind of small right there, okay? So let's get him built, first of all. Um, <laughs> we're gonna build him right on here, actually. Okay, so let's put his body on here first, okay? And then we're gonna put his mane is gonna go right about there. And then we're gonna put his face on. And then we'll add his little tail and his hat. Oops. So you can see these, there are um, some little parts, but it really um, goes together pretty easily. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive there and a little bit of adhesive on his tail. And we're gonna put the tail right on there. And then the hat, the little party hat, it's gonna go right on the top of his mane. We're just gonna press down on those. There, so you can see that was pretty quick and easy, right? And if it's sticking, I kind of wanted it to, you know, to stick but not like stick down on there. So you just kind of pull that back up, okay? Now we have, okay, so this is the very end of my crushed curry crinkled seam binding ribbon. <laughs> and we're using it, okay? So we're gonna just loop this over. And I think, I always get confused about which way this goes and it's better to keep it on here. I with this one had this teeny tiny little piece and was trying to like loop it around and get it stuck in here and let me tell you what it was not the easiest thing in the world. So it's easier to work with like a little bit longer piece and then you can kind of trim things off. So that was right. Okay so you loop it in half and then the loop goes toward the back. Okay and then these ends you're going to open up that loop right there and then put those things through like that. There, that is how that works. Oh yeah, yesterday was a bit of a struggle <laughs> trying to get that card together. Actually, we're gonna trim it down a little bit more. That's gonna be too long. There we go, okay. Yes, the very end. That, re that ribbon is retiring too. Um, so yeah, you gotta order it while you can. It works perfectly, that bright yellow, that kind of crushed curry, really pretty yellow. Thank you, Susie, I'm enjoying it too. Okay, so we're gonna add a couple of dimensionals on the back of that little guy, and then we can put our card together. So we're gonna scoot these over here. Okay, so again, love the bright, bright colors on that paper too. So cute. So, and you know, it's funny, you kind of think like, oh, this is maybe, you know, for a little kid or something, but um, I think I would even love to get this birthday card. My brother-in-law's birthday is actually on Sunday, on Mother's Day. Um, so who knows, maybe he'll get this card from me. He lives right around the corner, so I don't have to worry about mailing it, so that's good. So I still have some time to decide what birthday card he should receive, but maybe this is the one. He might think it's kind of cute, too. <laughs> That happy birthday, we'll put him right on there and then we're gonna put the sentiment on the inside. Yes, super duper cute and adorable, you guys, I agree. Thank you. And it's all about this suite of products, that birthday bonanza. I'm gonna grab my catalog, because you guys all know, right? But 
just in case if you haven't been peeking at your catalog, right? Let me see. Oops, I should have it marked and I don't, but I think it's right here. Yep. So it's this whole suite, the birthday bonanza suite right here. So here is our birthday bonanza designer series paper. This is not my highlighted catalog. All of a sudden I'm like, I know that's retiring. Here's the bundle. It's only $38.50 for the stamps and the dies too. So it is a good deal. These pom-poms have already sold out. So just forget about those. Okay. Um, the Daffodil Delight ribbon is rolling over to the next annual catalog. Hey, Heidi, how are you? And then here's another closer look stamp set and the dies and you can see all of these things that are kind of highlighted in white the dies cut them out so love <laughs> yes please case it anna i would love that that is the point of what we are doing here is to share with others so i would love for you to make one of these cards <laughs> it's totally worth it okay so we're going to clean things off here i got my chamois i don't know i'm trying to remember if i used any of these but while i've got it out i'm just cleaning everything off Okay, so we will do that. I know, I wanna make a bunch more of these. I wanna, oh, this is always such a hard time of year, guys, isn't it? When the annual catalog, when everything's retiring and like, oh, 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 I wanna play with these things some more. You guys probably think I sound funny, but you know, that's how it is. Okay, so that was, I guess I should say that, right? There was card number one. Okay, look at how cute, happy, happy birthday, right? Okay. So I'm gonna just get that right over there. Then we have card number two, which is right here. So similar, cause I couldn't not use this designer series paper. I have a bunch of it left and I love how it just brightens the card up. And then you just do some more fun stamping with that little toucan. This is that Daffodil Delight Roost ribbon that is carrying over. So you'll be able to get that. And then the cute little presents, isn't that fun? Let's celebrate you, okay? And did I do, oh, I did. So the balloons on the inside too. Okay, so here we go. Let's make this one now. And you'll see the designer series paper. So this one was three and three quarters by five. This one is four by five and a quarter. So you see how that little quarter of an inch, how it shows a little bit more of your card stock on the front of your card there, okay? All right, so we're gonna put that one right there. Oh yeah, so look, these are, we got a bunch more stamps to pull out and use this time. I don't think I need the terracotta tile. That one right there. Oh, and I did use, before I forget to mention, to color the little toucan's beak, I used a light Daffodil Delight marker. This one is a dark pumpkin pie, and this one is the light pumpkin pie. Okay, so I'll show you those, where we're gonna use those in just a little bit. Okay, and here are all my pieces. So again, I just loved the um, Bermuda Bay card base, so we did it again. You know, sometimes you just use what works and what you like. Okay, so again, another tall card, exact same idea. So you could make these two cards out of one sheet of cardstock along the eight and a half inch side, cut it at four and a quarter, along the 11 inch side, uh, score it at five and a half. Okay, there's your tall card again. You can make a card that goes like this too. I don't do it very often, but I think it's kind of fun too. Might, you know, um, I don't know, something different, I guess is what I'm trying to say, right? Okay, so same thing on the inside and the outside. We have Whisper White, and then this is more of the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. This one measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches. So again, it just shows a little bit less card around the outside, okay? Let's do our stamping for a little toucan, and then we'll cut him out. And then we'll do the other things. We'll do the, the rest of it we'll put together in just a moment. Okay, so the toucan we're gonna use, this guy right here, we've got our black memento ink. And I do wanna bring in, we're gonna use this guy here, okay? Because I want him to stamp well. I'm pounding. I don't ever pound except on this um, black linen ink pad. Ooh, it's just big enough. Don't pound, do not pound like that on any of our other, like any of our other regular firm foaming pads. Don't ever pound like that. Just this one you can to make sure you get enough ink. And then, ooh, beautiful. And this um, work surface really helps with that stamp and pierce mat. Love to use that also. Okay, so let's actually, uh, no, let's color now. Okay, so we're gonna use, ooh, I should have brought my glasses. This is the Daffodil Delight. This was the, was it lighter or darker? No, I can't remember. 
light. Yeah, I was gonna say that didn't seem very dark. Okay, so in the top little section of his beak, okay, I hope that's in the lines. <laughs> you guys can't tell either though, can you, right? Good thing. Okay, then the light pumpkin pie, we're gonna do down along the bottom right here. So we're not blending anything, we're just coloring is all. Okay, light pumpkin pie there, and then the dark pumpkin pie, we're gonna do up in this top little square right here. And I'll bring that up so you guys can see. So it just kind of adds a little bit of fun color. Let's scoot those out of the way, okay? So there's our little toucan man, right? Super cute, super duper cute. Okay, we're gonna cut him and some of the banners, we're gonna do those too. Okay, because we need two banners. You can see that one and that one there, and then I trimmed them off a little bit, but let's get him on there. We have to run the banner two times. Actually, do we have room? Maybe we'll do, let's do something different. We're gonna do one with the kind of little half moons and then one of the others that I already used. Let's do that. Ooh, boy, we're getting crazy now, aren't we, ladies, huh? As long as that will stay on the paper, okay? We'll see how that works out for us. And then the little toucan man right here. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, do you think we can do all of them? Let's see, because I have the tag also. Let's see if we can do that one too. We only have to do it once. That would be lovely. Oh, phone is ringing, huh, Tammy? All right, well, come back and join us when you can. Thank you. All right, I think we're good. Let's get this die cutting going here. Sorry, lots of wiggle there. That was shaking all over the place, wasn't it? But I think we finally have a decent connection. Isn't he so cute? I just really like him. <laughs> He's like, what's the cereal? There's a cereal that that little guy's on, right? Okay, those are kind of fun too. All right, let me just get these out of the way. So this is, yeah, look at that. There are little banners. We have both of those right there. Okay, good stuff. And then our tag again. Okay, we're ready. <coughs> All right, I need a quick sip of water. <laughs> All right, so again, let's see. We've got our tag. Let's actually, we gotta do our stamping. So we're gonna do our little presents that he's standing on, okay? So first of all, we need, this is some, nope, 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 we need daffodil delivery first, we're gonna do. Sorry, I've got stuff all over the place here, don't I? Okay, so our bottom little piece, okay, there's our daffodil delight, right? Then we are gonna use some Bermuda Bay for our next present. We're gonna ink that up. Gonna stamp that one right there, okay? And then one more present in, this time I used Grapefruit Grove, both of these colors. Fruit Loops, yes! <laughs> That's it, Anna, I knew. Fruit Loops, thank you, and Philomena, yes, you guys got it. I knew, I don't really eat Fruit Loops anymore. I probably did when I was young, right? Okay, I gotta make sure that that's inked up enough. And then there, there we go. Okay, so there are our little, three little presents all stacked up. We also need to stamp our, on this little teeny tiny piece. So this is a half inch wide uh, by like two and a half or so. Just a little strip I had left, okay? We're gonna stamp our Let's Celebrate You on there. Actually, we'll go this way. All right, we've got that one right there. Let's celebrate you. Okay, super cute. Now we can put this little baby together, right? I think, sorry, I keep moving my little host code thing. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's do, we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our toucan. Actually, we're gonna use some little baby ones. I don't like for them to show. So there, we can use the little baby dimensionals there. Okay, so let's add him onto our card again, or onto our tag, I guess I should say. Oh, look at how that, I was like, what did I get on there? But that's the stamp and Blends bleeding through your cardstock. That happens, right, with our Whisper Weight cardstock. There we go. Okay, now, same idea. We're, this is just right on the bolt, okay? We loop that in half. 
we put the loop through the back. I have to tell myself this every time too. I do it backwards most times. You figure it out, okay? And then actually we're gonna snip that off right there because we don't wanna run the whole bolt through, right? That would take forever. And just be careful when you tighten this up, you don't wanna pull too hard that you rip that, okay? And then we'll just kind of snip those off. There we go. Get those out of the way. Hello, Miss Wendy. Thank you for joining us. Okay, I think let's put some dimensionals on the back of our tag again. I love popping this up. Really, really, really wish these dies were carrying over because I can think of a million times I would like to use this tag. Although, oops, I shouldn't have pulled those off yet. We're going to set that up there. I think there is a new tag, something or other, a punch in our next catalog. I am going to, <laughs> we're going to trim that down just a little bit, and then I'm going to, just because I have it right here in my hand, we're doing this, right? We're going to just kind of flag the end here. So did you see how I did that? I cut in the center, I cut in one way, and then I think it's easiest to flip over and cut at the same angle, and that makes that little flagged end there. <laughs> the colors are so bright and cheerful, aren't they, Philomena? I agree. Okay, let's put, oh, wait, we got a stamp on the inside of this piece too. What do we have inside here? We had our balloons. Okay, so we're going to scoot that over. Oh, oh my gosh, that almost fell. That would have been lovely. Although with our Whisper White cardstock, you could flip it over and stamp on the other side. That would not be a problem. Okay, now typically I would probably do a couple of different colors of balloons, but I didn't want to clean this ink pad off um, every time on Facebook Live. So we're gonna just do one color. We are just gonna use, this is our Grapefruit Grove. So that's all we're using there. Okay, super cute on the inside. Now we can put that on the inside. Where's my snail? Here we go. Okay, so this can go on the inside of our card base. And then this one will go on the outside. Oops, it's like everything starts closing and does it happen to you where you just wanna like move everything out of the way? Like I don't have enough room to work anymore. And I love these, I had to, I just loved this paper and I just have not played with it enough and I know I say that a million times, but I love, I didn't even realize there were ice cream cones in this paper. So I was like, okay, well, we are featuring them today. I want everybody to see these super cute ice cream cones. It's almost like ice cream cone season too, isn't it? Okay, so now these, we are gonna put, I put them on the card originally and then I was like, oh, they have to go on dimensionals. So we're just gonna add some. And I may end up, I did cut things off, but I don't quite know where I'm gonna cut them off yet. So we're gonna just put, um, mini dimensionals on the back of each of these things. So we might end up not using part of this. You could set it aside. <laughs> okay, Sharon, have fun on the video chat with the grandkids. I hope you have a great weekend too and happy Mother's Day. Yay, you gotta take those opportunities when you can. Okay, so let's see, what if we do, we're gonna do that one there and I'm gonna just trim that thing off, okay. And then we'll do these, trim these or peel these little bits off. We have used a lot of dimensionals today, so I've got lots of little dimensional backings all over the place. What if we do, we're gonna do it like that. Actually, we used almost all of it, didn't we? So we're gonna just kind of trim, can I get that? There we go, trim that off right there, okay? All right, now we've already taken the backings off of those, so we can kind of pop this one on right here. Those are still a little bit too tall. We're gonna just trim those off. There we go, okay. And then we need our, where did it go? Oh, okay, it's still here. The let's celebrate you. We're just gonna add that right on there. So I'm gonna put one mini on this side and peel the backing off. And you guys know me, I don't like it when it's like lopsided, so we can't put a dimensional there because that's already up on dimensionals. That makes sense, hopefully. So we're gonna put that one there and tack that down and then that one right there. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Aren't those cards so cute? Love the little toucans, love the little lion. Happy, happy birthday cards. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed these projects today. I've been forgetting to bring my other little sheet out, so I just wanna do my quick reminder recap that if you put an online order in of at least $30, you will receive either the make and takes or the completed cards, these two cards right here, with your $30 online order. Make sure you use this host code and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the Neutrals Designer Series Paper Pack, right? Then it gets better if you bump your order up to at least $50, you get to pick from either a package of rhinestones, free rhinestones, or the Demo Design Tree, D Demo Design Dream Team. That's a mouthful, right? 16 project PDF tutorial. You choose either one with your $50 order. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my gosh, I love these cards. I hope you guys enjoyed these cards today. I hope you were inspired today. I hope you all have a fabulous Mother's Day on Sunday, however it is you get to celebrate. And hopefully the sun is shining where you guys are and you just have a great weekend. And we will see you next Friday. Bye, everybody. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, if you want to play online bingo, send me a message. If you need me to um, send you the PayPal link or invoice, I would love to play bingo with you at the end of the month. Again, when is that? May 27th. Wednesday, May 27th. All right. See you guys later. Thanks. Bye-bye.